you just raise your digital hand for questions with CJ. <clears throat> Start things off with Julian. CJ was on. So my first thing, uh, you spend all week, right, preparing for this one game, and then you get this bombshell that Trevor uh, tests positive for COVID. Where were you when you heard it? What did you think? And was it just was it still just like, all right, that's fine, but we still got to do what we got to do, you know? Yeah, um, I was in my room. Uh, I think I was playing. Uh, no, actually, I was studying. And then um, I think Brandon came in and told me, he's like, yeah, Trevor's not playing. I thought it was a joke. But then he showed me on Twitter. And we really just sat down and talked about it. And we just tell him, I was just telling Brandon, like, nothing's really changed because at the end of the day, they're still the number one team. You know that we're going to have to come out here and handle business. But nothing really changed once I heard uh, Trevor was out. The mentality stayed the same. And uh, Jeff was saying that his message to you guys throughout the week was always, it's, it's not about them. You know what I mean? Whether it, before Trevor went down, whether they were the number one team in the country, you guys got a lot going on, showing growth, trying to improve, like gain some foundation as a, as a new first year head coach. Like, mm -hmm. how much was this like, all right, man, this is what it is, but we still got to show what we got to do, you know? Yeah, like every week we really want to come out here and, and prove a point because, you know, um, BC always gets the, the bottom of the barrel. So, you know, we always play with a chip on our shoulder. We always we wanted to come out and, and show the, the world that uh, we can play with the top dogs. We'll go to Rich. Just comment on that 15 play drive that you closed out the first half with and uh, that pretty uh, miraculous catch you made in the end zone. Yeah, um, we were just marching down the field. I felt like everything was clicking. Um, Coach Nnedi dialed up some really good play calls. And um, on the touchdown, um, I just had single coverage uh, to the boundary. Um, Phil put it in a great spot. Um, it was a little tough because uh, the defender was kind of pushing me out of bounds, but I didn't really want to push him too much and get a PI. So um, Phil gave me a chance to make a play and uh, he scored. We'll go to Andy. CJ, I know you've been with this team for, I guess, now three or four years now. Um, you know, you've played Clemson every year. It's always a game people get up for. Um, but this team has struggled to score points against Clemson. Not today. Um, was that, again, part of making a point to the ACC and to the country that this BC offense is different? Yeah, we definitely wanted to do that. Um, we, we have our, uh, our players have a lot of faith in our coaches. Um, we feel like they're preparing us really well and they're doing a good job. Uh, they, they let us play loose. And um, we also have the talent on, the, on that side of the ball to make explosives and uh, score touchdowns. And we want to show the world that we can do it against the best. And um, yeah. We'll go to Julian. <clears throat> Honestly, it's kind of in the same vein, right? Like, you guys have gone to Clemson before. We've seen, like, the defense kind of hold them up, whatever it may have been, and keep the game alive in the fourth. We've seen AJ run them. But this is different. Like, how have you – I mean, this might be sort of the climax so far this season, but how have you seen this offense? It's diverse. It's got weapons. It's, it's versatile. How have you seen it progress in, in, in what, seven games has been now? Six games. Uh, seven games. Progress a lot. You see the O-line coming together. Uh, they're run blocking and pass protecting very well. You see the running backs, they're running hard. They're hitting holes really hard. And the receivers are making plays and catching balls. And uh, Phil is doing a great job commanding the huddle and, and the, the offense as a whole. So um, just week by week, we just try to get better. And obviously, you guys are seeing it, that we're able to hit plays and hit consecutive plays and, and stay on the field. I thought this was something Jeff said that was interesting too, right? He's like, Trevor was out and that's fine, but the team you saw, the Clemson team you saw today is kind of going to be what they are next year. And right. this is what's going, what BC is going to be next year. You know what I mean? Is, is, does that give you guys optimism going forward? You know what I mean? Um, I feel like we have the mentality that we can be every team. So I don't really think that it changed because we played them. Um, obviously, we're going to have to watch the tape, go back to the drawing board and move on. And then next year when we see them, um, we'll see them. CJ, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Gonna try to get Phil 